Hi and welcome, this is Jam Jar 34 and this is my new series, my second new series. Um, it will be basically on me being brand new to the historical side of wargaming and I'll be doing Napoleonics. Um, as someone told me I have been converted and he was totally right um, so I bought I've, I've, I've now purchased um, my first um, unit if you would call that um, set of models um, and th that's what these come in um, there's nothing in there at the moment but so I just wanted to show you what what they came in um, as this is a review on um, the models I got so next up basically is the box um, this is what I got the black powder Napoleonic Wars chosen men British 95th rifles and as some of you may know which I have said in past um, videos um, I was quite into sharp and he was a he was the the top person of the 95th rifles with Patrick and his other two matey mates one um, who read loads of books and the one that used to sing all the songs um, over the hills and far away or over the hills and something else um, so yeah this is um, my 95th rifles um, this is my new adventure in the hist historical wargaming era and I purchased these from uh, Warlord Games and my first opinion was when I got them um, was over the moon um, I bought them because I liked them and I think it would would be a nice start to a very promising adventure and this is the box um, that came in the um, brown packaging box so basically you've got the other side which I'll quickly show you you've got description down there you've got the models and you've got the dog which is called a rifle so that's a nice nice little touch and yes there you go and a dog called rifle so I think I might take him from the unit and I might have him as a mascot so every time I do an episode he's right there right well somewhere around here to be perfectly honest um, right so that's the box um, they came in the thing so they were basically like that I think I think they were actually like that to be perfectly honest but that wasn't open um, what they do come in is a plastic sealed with some grey foam I think that's grey yeah let's call it grey or black foam and there's the models in there um, and there's the dog scrolling there you go there's rifle um so yeah it is sealed um you have to use scissors so that's all cool right i actually cut these um to show you and to make it easier for myself um these were sealed and they're not now so what you get two pieces of foam and then the models so they are very very detailed and I really do like these models um, they are pretty awesome 
Um, and there's one holding a sword and a rifle because I don't have muskets. Um, this one, sort of, I think he's sort of running or starting to run. One of the two, and a few kneeling ones as well. So, basically, that's all cool. Um, so, I'll, I'm actually, yeah, there you go, it's going run, but they're yeah, cool. So, on a positive note, these models are very, very nice, very, very well packaged. Um, and I was very, very impressed. Um, I was very, very impressed with the customer service and how friendly the staff member that I dealt with. So I'm going to give him a shout out as well. Um, and his name is Lorenzo. So, right, I'm back to the main box because I don't want to see just tabletop. Um, and, yes, um, I asked him a few questions or a question and he answered not just with one or two lines, with quite a lengthy email. Um... Uh, his customer service is very, very good. Um, can't really knock um, his customer service whatsoever. Um, and that's sort of a thing that I strive on. Um, I placed my second order, which also includes the black powder um, rule book, which... Um, is a must for me um, so yeah um, this is a big new adventure um, it's basically going to be a series on how I'm getting it on with painting them um, how I'm getting on with the rule book and basically going through my steps on being a new converted member of the historical gaming community um, and I'm looking forward to it, to be perfectly honest. So, yes, um, in general, overall, with uh, Warlord Games, I'm very impressed with, especially with their customer service. Um, and they, the way the emails were responded to um, reasonably quickly. Um, I didn't expect that whatsoever. Um, I expected at least a day, maybe. Um, but they were quite prompt with their emails to keep you informed, basically. Um, so, which is all good. I'm I'm all up for that. So, um, I'd just like to thank Lorenzo um, again. Thank you very much for your customer service, mate. Um, so, yes, um, that is it. I'm very, very happy. I'm waiting on at the moment. This is Tuesday and it is about half eight. Um, UK time, I'm waiting on my next order to be delivered. Um, they've given me a message saying that it has been shipped. I'm just waiting on it. Um, so I'm very, very much looking forward to that. And I will show you what I bought. Um, there's a few surprises in there, apart from bases and stuff. But there is one surprise, which I quite like. So that is basically it from me. Um, like, comment and subscribe onto my channel. That would be much appreciated. And I hope you join me again for another video on my journey through the historical period of um, black powder. So this is um, Jam Jar's rifles and me, Jam Jar, um, looking forward to meeting you again on my next video. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.